The Ugly Duckling It was a warm summer's day, and Mummy Duck wriggled excitedly on her nest. She could hear a tapping noise. Tap, 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 tap. Quick, quack, quick. Mummy Duck called to the other ducks. My eggs are hatching. Come and see. One by one, the eggs hatched and out popped six chirpy little ducklings. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, cheep. Ah, the other duck sighed. What sweet little ducklings. A mummy duck beamed with pride. But the biggest egg of all still hadn't opened. Mummy duck was sure she had only laid six eggs. Rack! Just then, the final egg burst open. Oh, gasped mummy duck. The last duckling wasn't little. Or yellow. Or cute. He was enormous. Grey. And, well, ugly. What an ugly duckling, quacked an old duck. He's not ugly, Mummy Duck said protectively. He's special. The next day, Mummy Duck took all her little ducklings to the farmyard to meet the other animals. The six yellow ducklings proudly puffed out their feathers. Ha! sighed the animals. What lovely ducklings! The ugly duckling waddled forward. Hello, he said quietly. Everyone turned to stare at him. He's so great, neighed the horse. He's clumsy, mooed the cow. He's so big, squawked the hen. Large tea drops rolled down the ugly duckling's long black beak. He felt all alone. Nobody wants me, he whispered. I'd be better off swimming away. The poor little duckling waddled sadly across the meadow, leaving the farm and his family far behind him. Soon the ugly duckling came to a river where some geese were diving for food. Excuse me, the ugly duckling began bravely. Have you seen any other ducklings like me? No, you're the strangest looking duckling we've ever seen. The geese honked. So the ugly duckling kept waddling. He was getting very tired. As darkness fell, he crept inside an old barn looking for a place to rest. May I stay here? He asked the animals inside. Can you lay eggs? clucked the hen. No, said the ugly duckling sadly. Oh, can you catch a ma? is purred a cat. I don't think so, said the ugly duckling. Then you're no use here, the cat hissed. And the ugly duckling quickly waddled away. He kept going until he came to a large lake. If nobody wants me, then I'll just hide here forever, he sniffed sadly. Ribbit, croaked the frog. What a funny looking duckling. Autumn came and the leaves turned gold. One evening... Just as the sun was setting, the ugly duckling saw a flock of beautiful white birds flying gracefully across the sky. I wish I looked like them, he sighed. All through the long winter, the ugly duckling hid in the reeds, ashamed to show his face. When the first rays of warm spring arrived... The ugly duckling peered out of his hiding place. A graceful swan paddled by and he backed away, afraid he would be teased. But to the ugly duckling's surprise, the swan swam up to him. Why are you hiding here? asked the swan kindly. Join the rest of us. The ugly duckling was shocked. Surely the swan must be talking to someone else. 
But then he caught sight of his reflection in the lake. He stared and gasped in amazement. His grey feathers were now snowy white. I'm a swan! The ugly duckling cried happily. Just then, a family of six young ducks waddled along the river bank with their mother. Look at that beautiful swan, they quacked. Mummy Duck recognized her ugly little duckling at once. I always knew he was special, she quacked. The ugly duckling ruffled his beautiful white feathers, turned away and proudly paddled after his new friend. The end. That was the beautiful story, The Ugly Duckling.